All right, welcome to my Remy and Sulk gameplay and review. So first and foremost, I do gotta mention that these were gifted to me by Epic Games. Again, shout out to Epic Games for doing this. I am an Epic partner and that's why they sent them. So Remy and Sulk come to the item shop on October 30th. So two days from now. And by the way, I just did a gameplay and review on Jack O'Sassin. He comes to the item shop tomorrow, the 29th. Be sure to check out that video that I just did. So Remy says he's got a little devil in him. And then he also has the sulk style. Now I'm hoping there's a built-in emote. I don't know. We're going to check in just a minute. But if not, he has this secondary style as the devil, I guess. So what do we got here? He kind of looks like your average teenager. Maybe a, I don't know, a skater or something. What's that? A Walkman around his waist? A lot of 90s vibes to these skins. He's got those old-fashioned headphones that go all the way to the Walkman. I do like his hair. He's obviously a cel-shaded anime character, which a lot of people like, a lot of people dislike. Looks like his shirt says Existence with a skull, a flaming skull, I should add. I do like his two-toned hair and his beanie. Pretty sweet. A lot of people were upset by his face. I don't really have an issue with it. I think people were kind of mad that he has an Alvin and the Chipmunks type face and nose. Actually, you know what? He reminds me of a character from Dr. Seuss, just the way his nose is. I like his shoes, pants, not really much else to say about this version. How about his devil style sulk? Well, sadly, he has two of the things I dislike most in Fortnite, a tail, although it's very, very skinny, and horns, not to mention big elven ears. So he turns blue, as you can see, if we rapid fire. And he grows the horns, he grows the tail. Everything else kind of remains the same. But of course his skin does turn blue. And he gets a weird purple triangle above his nose and this weird emblem around his neck. And a few mummy wraps, as well as a white tank top. So let's go ahead and equip him and see if there's a built-in emote. Oh, there's not. Bummer, so there's no way to transform him. Let's see what his back bling looks like called the Diabolical Deck. It's not quite a hand basket, it says. So he is a skater. Look at that. That's actually a really sick looking skateboard. I like that. And it clearly matches him, but there's no other style. So what goes with the devil form? Nothing. That's unfortunate. So here's the pickaxe. It's called the Wicked Axe, and there's no styles for this one either. Nice, nice guitar riff there. So this obviously goes with the first style as well because he does have red on him. Not much, but a little. Doesn't look like he comes with a wrap either. Let me just double check on an emote. So he's part of the Music Fiend set again. No. So no glider, no emote, and no wrap. So you get a pickaxe, a back bling, and then the skin with two styles. So what can we do for a glider? He is, again, the anime cell shaded effect, so we might have to go with something like that. I thought I had a guitar type glider, but I couldn't find it. I thought one of those punk rock anarchist skins had a glider, but apparently I don't own it. Well, since he does have the gold and yellow, I may as well just run the Nimbus Cloud. At least that's cell shaded. We'll do that. I'm sure there's a way better glider, but that's what we're rocking. Just gonna try the mayhem rap on him. I don't think this is gonna look very good, but. My anime wraps are very limited, and the ones that I do have are extremely bright and colorful. Alright, let's see how he looks with the Nimbus Cloud. Here we go. I think that flows really, really good. It's always difficult to try and make a perfect combo with a cell shaded skin because not many people have accessories for them. And if they don't come with them, you're kind of out of luck. So right off the bat, I'll be completely honest, I love everything about the color scheme here. The yellow, the black, the red, and it being anime and cell shaded, it really stands out and it looks like a great skin just right here. I love the design, the beanie, the headset, it all just comes together into a very well-designed skin. Here's nailed it. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this skin. I don't think I'm gonna like his secondary style, but this one, I really enjoy. So here's the mayhem wrap I picked. Eh, it doesn't really look good. I'm sure there's a better wrap. I'm gonna have to look. So the pickaxe is phenomenal as well. Listen to this pullout noise. That's awesome. How about a contrail? Yes, a very black and red contrail. That looks nice. 
You can hear a little bit of guitar riff as you swing it. How about a splash? Well, it's got the anime splash effect, kind of a cell shaded dust cloud. That's about it. I just love this backbling. This is incredible. It goes so good with this skin. All right, let's see if there's anything secretly reactive here. I didn't think that would be the case. I was kind of hoping the wheels on the backbling would do something, but even when you jump, actually, he's got a little, I don't know, keychain attached to it that seems to dangle. But it doesn't look like there's any reactivity. I'll try to get a weak shot here so I can pickaxe him. I love this pickaxe too, though. Nice. So, an overall great looking skin, even though it is cell shaded. So, for the Devil Style, aka Remy, we can use Mr. Meeseek's glider, which is pretty much the Nimbus Cloud anyway. I am going to leave the Wicked Axe as well as the Back Bling just to see how they flow. But we could also use the Mr. Me Seeks wrap, which is called Look at Me. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, here we go. The Me Seeks manifest. Watch this. <laughs> so it's a little lighter blue, especially in the dark, but I think this flows really, really good. The Nimbus Cloud in this one, I think we did good. Of course, the Mr. Me Seeks glider has that unique animation when you deploy it. Really clean. So here we are in the nighttime effect. So I'll be honest, the back bling doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Yes, he doesn't have any yellow or black. Yes, he doesn't have any yellow on him, but there is still a lot of red, especially with his pickaxe there. So it's not bad, but it definitely looks way better on the first style. How about the Me Seeks wrap? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like the way that flows with him. So when you aim down sights, you do get a little obstruction from the horns, but they're not as bad as I anticipated. The ears, likewise, are not as bad. And you can clearly see his tail. I just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of tails. But that shouldn't bother a lot of people. It's not as thick as a lot of those tails are. So, kind of spindly, so that's good. You can see it's definitely animated. It wags back and forth. And of course, like I said, the pickaxe still goes with him because he does have a little bit of red on him. So not as bad as I anticipated, but I still think the first style is way better. It's just this one isn't that bad. If you're a fan of a devilish type skin, you're probably going to really enjoy this one. So there you go. That is Remy and Salk. I was extremely impressed with Remy and Salk. I was still impressed by, but I feared the worst for him. However, it's not that bad of a skin. Now, I can already see people complaining because... For Fort Nightmares, they want scary, creepy Halloween skins, and these just aren't that scary at all. I mean, yes, he's a devil, but the first style is just a skater. So in that regard, I can see some people being a little upset. I am disappointed, though. I'll be completely honest that there's no built-in emote. They should have included one to transform into Sulk from Remy. So a lot of disappointment there, but everything else in the set is amazing. The back bling, I love it. The pickaxe, one of the best anime ones we had so far. Sadly, there's no glider or wrap, but you can pick some if you've got some other cell shaded skins. So, to sum this up, I'm pleasantly surprised with Remy and Sulk. I can definitely see Remy going on my presets options, though, because I loved everything about the way this looks in-game. The hat and the skateboard and the cell shaded effect all come together to make a very, very good-looking skin. So there you go. Remy and Sulk come out October 30th, one day before Halloween the last of the brand new Four Nightmares 2022 skins. Let me know in the comments which skin do you like better out of Remy and Sulk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.